Welcome to Cada Dia Welsh. Uh, my name is Michael Henry, and I'm one of the project facilitators for this meeting. And I want to welcome all of you. Um, we this pro this meeting is more of an open house. We will be starting daily meetings uh, next week in July, and we will have uh, daily meetings of July and August. And these meetings are for Welsh virtual immersion in uh, in Welsh. I am not a Welsh speaker. I'm going to be turning it over to our Welsh facilitator in just a little bit. Um, our host facilitator, Anna, is not with us today. However, Tulare Davies from uh, in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, is going to fill in. And Teg is with us. Teg, would you just say hello and welcome? Hello, Kreiso. Welcome, everyone. And please do type into the chat window right now. We do encourage you to uh, to type into the chat window consistently through the meeting. Um, it's one of the ways that you can stay very involved in um, in the Welsh. And I'd also like to ask Virginia or Cole if you're able to speak. If you think you're able to speak, I would like to call you to the panel, and you could read some of the activities that we have in the meeting today. Uh, so if you're willing to do that, Virginia or Cole, I know Cole, I think, has a baby with her, so she, I don't think she's going to be able to speak, but she may be able to. Uh, but Virginia, if you would like to be able to speak, I, we can uh, turn your microphone on so that you'll be able to read uh, an activity. But we would like to see whether or not you're willing um, to do that. Oh, so Cole thinks she might be able to to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and bring Cole onto the panel. And then I'm going to also ask if Virginia would be willing to join the panel as well. So with that, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and talk just a little bit about the program. The Cadodia Welsh program is a, is a social language learning program. And what that means is that rather than going to a classroom, we practice and study Welsh in social media. Sites like Duolingo, there's a group for Cadadia Welsh on Duolingo, and you can join that group. If you're looking at the slides, you should be able to click on the link to Duolingo to go to that uh, site. And then also you could go to the Facebook group for Cadadia Welsh, and we encourage you to post activities in uh, the Facebook area, and also that's true of Google+. And then we also have an online class that is uh, Cadadia Welsh online class, and it's hosted by the Canvas Network. We have close to 400 people in that class right now, and we would like to encourage you to uh, join that class if you're not, if you haven't joined already. And one of the questions we ask, and I'm going to ask a uh, uh, Tulare, if you would read the question in Welsh, and then I'll read the question in English. Do you see the question at the bottom? Duolingo, Facebook, Google Plus, Canva. Okay, when we have the blue arrow like that, we want you to type into the chat window. So please right now, let us know which of these groups you you have either joined or you plan to join. So just type into the chat window right now and just let us know uh, which group you're you're in. Taledi says she's on Facebook and Google. Yes, and Cole says everyone apart from Google. <laughs> All right. Very good. Excellent. And so we also want you to share with family and friends. And this is through the social media sites. And this is also one way that we increase the number of people that view these meetings is by posting activities and also just simply reaching out to your Welsh family and friends around the world using social media, either Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram or Google Plus. And so again, I'm 
Hilary, I'm going to ask you to ask this question in Welsh and then feel free to ask that question also in English and encourage people to, oh, I'm sorry, this is not a, a response question. <laughs> here I am leading and I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here. So what we want you to do is we want you to tell people in Welsh or in English that you're studying Welsh in these social media sites. And that's one way to really connect with people who are willing to help you uh, with the Welsh language. We also want you to participate in two ways. There are, there are live meetings like the one that you're in right now, but also we encourage you to post your activities in the online class and in the face, Facebook and other social media sites as a way to study on your own. And so it's studying on your own and coming to these live meetings that is the way that you participate in Katadia Welsh. And also the meeting has two different kinds of participants. One is a participant that just listens and types into the chat window. And the other participants are on the panel. And um, uh, Virginia, we're still interested to find out if you're willing to become a member of the panel. We would love to, to encourage you. You just say yes or no in the chat window. Um, the, the activities are already prepared and we would love to encourage you to help us read some of those activities. Um, and so listening to the meeting is fairly simple. You just listen and type into the chat window. But when you're on the panel, you'll need either earbuds or a microphone, or you can also call in. There's an te international telephone number, um, and you can call in to participate on the panels. Okay, and Virginia says, no, not at this time. And that's fine, Virginia. Please listen, and I'm hoping that you'll be willing to participate in an upcoming meeting. So, but before we begin, and I will turn it over to Teleri, is that we want you to understand that we will not speak English after this short introduction. The rest of the meeting will be entirely in Welsh, and we don't speak per perfectly. It's okay to, to make mistakes when you're trying to speak. Um, and so what we do is we encourage you to... Um, to, to listen and try to understand. And we have helper text uh, that uh, is, is English a translation of uh, what you see on the screen. So um, Teleri, I'm going to, I'm going to turn this slide over to you and the rest of the slides. Would you ask people to respond to these questions, both in English and in Spanish, I'm sorry, English and in Welsh. And um, then when you get to the Immersion slide, then you can continue just in Welsh. Go ahead, Tulare. Okay, Diolch, Michael. Okay, Diolch, Pau. Now, so, er mwyn cymryd rhan, allwch chi ddweud wrthon ni os bod chi yn gallu grando, neu os ydych chi'n gallu darllen, neu os ydych chi'n gallu ysgrifennu stori i'w rhan i. Gallu chi penderfynu. Diolch Cole, mae Cole yn dweud dau a hanner, so rhywle rhwng dau a tri fyna. A mae Michael yn dweud bod ein gallu gwrando. Christine? A medru ysgrifennu stori, diolch yn fawr. Na'r da, dyn ni'n gofyn wedi nos allwch chi wir fyddoli. Ydych chi'n meddwl gallwch chi wir fyddoli, gallwch chi gweud... Um, Gallwch chi ateb gyda gallaf, os hoffech chi cymryd rhan. Diolch. Diolch cool. Right. Na, os oedd oedd amser lle nad ydych chi'n ddiall, gallwch chi ddweud yn yr afach, Dwi ddim yn deall, helpwch fi. Gan felly, os oes rhywbeth ydych chi ddim yn deall, dyna'r pethau gallwch chi ddweud. Ydych chi'n deall nawr? O gallwch chi ateb gyda dwi yn deall, dwi yn deall. Os ydych chi'n deall. Diolch cool. Cyfred. 
Narse, mae'r awr nesaf yma yn rhoi cyfleini dysgiaeth yn gymdeithasol. Byddwn ni yn siarad Cymraeg yn unig o yn nawr ymlaen, felly gwrandewch, gwyliwch a dysgwch. Bydd cyfleich i ymarfer a ymadroddion gyda Duolingo. Nate, gadw ni gwrando a cheisio at y cwestiynau yma. Ydych chi'n mynd i'r siop efo mam? Ydych chi'n mynd i'r siop efo mam? A, B, N, C. Diolch cwl. A. Diolch i e A. A cwsdyn diolch. A, N, E. <laughs> Am I calling the way a half I turn this song over? The name I hear half is seen, but the Nigerian weather. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, I did not get. Then my when hard in Guisia Mount Suiza. I should hear that. My when hard in Guisia Mount Suiza. Ah, but naked. Your call, but yeah, your but. Then my turn I think we now ask you, Denny, if I share. I call a Christine, the actor, the man. And the arm now, I do mean, no. Well, the money at Christ our dear Ichiam Zoned. I felt a heat the way that a hello or spout, guiding you get well, pointy the man of the net. Your call my call and wait hello. Pay other see the mass an hour. Oh, my Anna and my now heaven. So Larry, I have to break in. Unfortunately, let's okay. see if we can get Anna. Let's see if we can get Anna to take over at this point. Sorry. Hello. Hello. I think Chloe would be. Hello, Anna. Hello. Sorry, I didn't think I'd let all in. I didn't think I could get fifty or eighteen bits. Then I'm going to I'm going to get a power that never not there. I should be sending them line of one hidden. Yeah, do you know the Michael is on OK to move on from here? Yeah, Fana. Yeah. Well, next time I'm going to say. Felly, geisiwch ddeach, grandewch, medeliwch, gofennwch gwetiynau, gwnewch eich gwaith cartref bob dydd. Wel, me ferwyr chyd yw, yw Christine, Chef, Deleri, Robert. Doeddwch chi lo wych ffrindi a wych sgwelwch chi'n da? Hello, Bawb. Hello, Deleri. Hello, Michael. Hello, Christine. Bye, y'all. Well, see you today. Let's give you a course. Dwi'n iawn, dwi wedi blino, dwi'n happy. See you today. Dwi'n happy, so iawn, ben digedig, diolch, diolch, deleri. Dwi'n poeth, iawn. Dwi'n oer, iawn. Da iawn, ok. Well, ble ydych chi nawr? Lle dwi'n byw yn chrylew? Dwi'n yn chrylew nawr, ond dwi'n dod o labla dyngreidiol. Ble ydych chi? 
Escribe Nug, Twin View en. En Kansas City, Twin View en Kansas City, Twin View en Ottawa, que en todo te cambien Greater Dayan, Twin View en Australia, Pop Pop, Core, Epic, Dayan. No ni a todo le quiero hablar, no voy a volver a ni voy a escalar el tema ahora. Es que, yo creo que sí. Me quiero hablar de los que ni di me hablan. A ver si escriben y Catalina qué pod, os los que ni hablan. Yo te le di, yo Michael, yo Cole, a yo Christine, da ya un. Cata ti hago el guayscareta. Pa guayscareta y dije que te neid. Ma, ni casi ni can, ni verba, ni story, ni que día dir, ni discurso, ni te hice ahí ni te hice. Ejí. Leoni, ¿qué tiene Robert ma? Tell you about the lady, the young. Call the name of 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 Dar gan feddwch cyfieithedd o'r gair ar hoch frawdeg. Efallai, bydd angen dod o chi wedi fwy nag un frawdeg. Os yw'r gair yn golygu mwy nag un beth. Ysgrifen o'ch tair frawdeg i bobl i'r eich yw hateb. Ac yna rhanwch eich gair a'ch gwechenau gan defnyddio hashtag hadadria gwelsh a grandewch ar y gyfarwyddiadau llawn. Felly, ma, dwi wedi... Robert, ti me ma, ond ni gallu o fyny teledu, os gwelwch chi'n dda darllen, y gair neis Robert, cyfrani, dev cwtsh. Ia, ond dim problem. Diolch. Nawr da, fi'n meddwl yn gwreiddiol, mae ymand yn ath ysgrifennu hwn, ond gael dyn ni weld. Rydw i'n caru cael cwtsh gyda fy ngŵr? Mae'r gair cwtsh yn cael ei ddefnyddio yng Nghymru. Nad yw llawer o bobl ti allan i Gymru yn adnabod y gair yma, ac nad yw pob person yng Nghymru yn adnabod y ffordd Cymraeg o sylllafu i'r gair cwtsh. Rwyf wrth fy modd yn prynu anrhegion i bobl a ffordd tro'r yng Nghymru hyn rwy'n prynu anrhegion gyda'r geiriau Cymraeg arnyn. Rwy'n hoffi dysgu pobl am y gair cwtsh ac i esbonio'r ffordd Cymraeg o'i sillafu. Da, iawn, dylai chi, mae'r gair cwt yn hyfryd, rhaid o'i ddau. Diolch, Anna. Nawr te, mae cwestiynau gyda ni yn fan hyn. Cwestiyn rhif un. Ble ydy'r gair cwt yn cael ei ddefnyddio? Allech chi ateb yn y blwch? Ble ydy'r gair cwt yn cael ei ddefnyddio? Diolch yn fawr cwl. Da, iawn, Christine. Hyfryd. Nawr, te, ar ail question. Beth ydw i wrth fy modd yn gwneud? Beth ydw i wrth fy modd yn gwneud? Question for you, Anna, os braidd fyna. Os yw'n gofion iawn? Dran i'r rhegion gyda'r gair? Ie, dwi'n meddwl dyna ni, dyna ni oedd i'r ie. Ie, dyna ni oedd i'r ie. Ie, dyna ni oedd i'r ie. Ar un olaf te, beth ydw i'n hoffi dysgu pobl am? Beth ydw i'n hoffi dysgu pobl am? Mae rhywbeth sydd ddim bawb yn gwybod sydd ddim neud o. 
Ja, men du får ta det var så. Hej Eva. Si klavi, kamrai ko kuch ta yanko ta ya. Ta ya un tiol kamvauri a un teleri. Koisa, andani pati. Ya. Os kana hi hof air en kamrai. Ruin. Twin hof ya uno or gai coach hebet. Dus in, maar als we dit weer, maar Bob gaat in kamerijk, hij dijft, oh zeg het, doen gaat hij nou, daar jouw. Ik zie, ooit heb je niet koffie, ooit doen, dan niet koffie, daar jouw go, daar jouw Michael, daar jouw die van waar, weet je, nou te. Story, hm? Je hoort hier die story in een wedi en in een kamerijk, je rani. Daar kan je toch kiezen voor de story, maar je kunt ook kiezen voor de film. Dalla storia vado in ver, a che scrive un altro questioni per parlare di a te va mi storie. E non rano che si storie che da che era quando il medio hashtag cada dia guarisce. Quando è ora che va rotiata il faun. E sì, Cristin, già dove lo us Cristin Pau? Ma storie vedo che in rani che tani Cristin Heavy. Hello, Christine. Christine. That is your beer one. Oh, please, let's go look in there. Okay. Gerda Kavla, Peldroid, Cymru, Glad Belg, Hungary, Nosil, Garvan, again. Thank you, Christine. Christine, I feel real win. Dweud e am beth mae Christine yn siarad. Ba e stori ma chi eisiau son gyda geiriau ma. Da iawn teleri yn bendant. Euro 2016. Da iawn. Echle, gan rhy Euro 2016 y breud wedi yn dal i fyw. Da iawn. Christine, da chi eisiau darllen? Dydd Gwener Nesaf yn Lil, a dydd Cymru cael y cyfle i fynd ymhell nag erioed o blaen, mewn cysadleiaeth beldroed rhwngwladol. Yn sefyll rhwng Cymru a lle yn y rownd cyn derfynol, mae Glad Belg. Wedi ei byddygolaeth nhw a pedwar dim yn erbyn hwngwri nosil. Er nad oedd y sgor yn ad... Adle wyrchu'r chwarae, roi hi'n un dim tan y deuddeg munud olaf. Mae'r sgôr yn dangos gallu'r belgiaid. Ond oes dim byd yn ymrangos yn codi ofn ar garn Cymru. Ac wrth gwrs, tydi nhw heb colli yn erbyn belg yn tair gen diwethaf rhwng y ddwy wlad. Come on, Wales. Da iawn, diol hamfawr, Christine. Wrth gwrs, bydd bawb yn gymnogi Gamry. Diol hamfawr i chi, gwaith da, a dal i'w chati. Oedd eich hyn coffi stori, Christine? Oedd hwn, da iawn, teledu, diol hamfawr. Ac eich chi'n sgrifennu, os oedd eich hyn coffi? Dydych chi'n hoffi? O, Gwl, dwi ddim yn lygio beldroed. Wel, dwi ddim yn hoffi beldroed chwaith, ond mae mae Cymru mewn chle mor arbennig. Mae'n bwysig iawn i bawb dwi'n meddwl. Felly, wnewn ni at y berfau naw. Iawn. Rhenwch berfau'r gysylltheiriau adaf yn y Gymraeg. Gallwch rhannu ffyrdd gorffennol, bresennol neu ddyfodol i gair. Ysgrifen nhw'ch tair gwestiwn i bobl eir eich hatef am eich ferf a'r ddefnydd ochoni. Yna rhan nhw'ch eich ferf gydag eraill am ddefnyddio gada dia gwelsh a gran dewch ar y gyfarwyddiadau llawn. Eich chi, teleri i'n weith eto, diolch am fawr. Dylwch chi'n wrth teleri bawb. Ba ferfau y byddwch chi'n rhannu gyda ni? 
Hello, Eto. Byddaf yn rhannu berfau sy'n ffeilio ar rhedeg. Da iawn. Da iawn. Diolch yn fawr. Na, byddwn ni'n edrych ar y berfau gorffennol o'r berfen o'r rhedeg. Felly yn y gorffennol, rhedaeth i, rhedaeth T, rhedodd E, rhedodd Hi, rhedodd Ni, rhedodd Chi, rhedodd Nhw. Tia a blwyddyn yn ôl, rhedaeth I am y tro gyntaf mewn blynyddoedd. Dechreuaeth rhedeg oherwydd cychwynnodd fy nŵr ar ddechrau blwyddyn. Rhedodd E'n amal, gan ddechrau gyda pathren, cair ddyd a fwreiaeth sadwr. Yna, rhedodd gyda ffrindiau, a ffendir bynnau'n gofrestru am rath yng ngwlad yr haf awst dwetha. Roedd pedwar ohonom, alun garas bethan a fi, ac roedd tai y dreth gwahanol bellderoedd. Rhedau sy a bethan 10 km, roedd y bechgyn am rhedig y rath hiraf ar rhedo nhw 21 km. Roedd tai iawn tyleddi, tyleddi, mae hwn yn gwych. Gwestiwn eich chi yn fan hyn ar te. Am le rhedon ni'r rhaff? Am le rhedon ni'r rhaff? A lle rhywun ateb o'ch sylwch chi'n da? Cair ddyd. Dwi ddim yn siŵr am hwnna. Gwl. Christine, diolch am fawr gwlad yr haf. Da iawn. Diolch i o gwlad yr haf. Ac wedyn i'r ail cwestiwn fyna, pa bellter rhedaeth i? Pa bellter rhedaeth i? Na, dim 20 kilometr da iawn, Christine. A cwestiwn fach i orffen, a rhedoch chi'n ddiweddar? A rhedoch chi'n ddiweddar? Wedi rhywun gwyddi rhedeg, dwi'n ddiweddar dwi ddim yn anffodydd. Y rhedeg yn ffordd, da iawn. O, mae merch Christine, da iawn. Dim am blynedd oedd tegyd. Wel, da iawn. Diolch am fawr iawn, Teleri, gweitha, daliadu. Ie, clyn nawr, ydych chi'n hoffi'r stori? Ydych chi'n deibio oedwn, oedwn, diolch gwl, diolch chi'n dyn, diolch Michael, da iawn, diolch yn fawr yn ni, nawr, sgwrsio, ie? Ydych chi'n rhenwch ti'n englyn esgwrsio. Gach fod yn rhyw beth roeddech chi'n bod i darllen mewn llyfr, nid ti'n breddech chi'n deall fel rhan o gwrs arach roeddech chi'n gymryd. Rhoch cymwrth theraeth fel ei bod nhw'n deall eich tip. Ysgrifyn o'ch sgwrs ber, gallwch rhannu am eich tip. Yna rhannwch y tip gyda geiraeth a'r hashtag gyda diawas. A grandewch ar y gyfarwyddiadau i llawn. Felly, oedd Robert isio rhannu tip wyliau. Ond ydy Robert ddim yma. Tegid, allwch chi... Rhedeg o chwilio chi'n da? Gallaf. Diolch. Rwy am sgwrsia am wyliau. Ble eis ti ar dy wyliau wythnos dwiethaf? Ble eithoch chi ar eich gwyliau wythnos dwiethaf? Es i i Patagonia. Gyda phwy eis ti ar dy wyliau? Gyda phwy eithoch chi ar eich gwyliau. Es i gyda bo ngŵr. Sut es ti ar dy wyliau? Es i mewn a wyren ac yna ar daith grŵb gyda phobl eraill o bob ran o brydain. Beth geis ti i fwyta? Beth geithoch chi i fwyta? Geis i empeniada sef math o dois pastry sy'n gael ei lenwi a gwahanol gynhwysio'n a'i bobi. Beth geis ti i yfed? Beth geithoch chi i yfed? Geis i lawer o win. 
Christian Oedd yn ymteithio adra efo fy ferch yn car hi. Oedd y ŵyl tiwlipia yn dechrau ar y nos iau efo tân gwyllt. Bora de gwenar yn y glaw fe cerddau sy'n weld y tiwlipia yn Parc Majors Hill. Wedyn i'r farchnet baywyd am panad ac i edrych beth oedd ar werth yn y farchnet. Oedd yn y lawer o flodau, llysiau a ffrwythau i brynu. Dau iawn, Christian. Diolch am fawr, Christian. Felly, waith a, allwch chi dweud, os gwelwch chi'n da, os ydy chi eisiau am weld ar lle? O, Cole, yn dod, a iawn. O, mae teledu yna? O, da iawn. Diolch, Michael. Da iawn. A mae'n teledu yn dweud gwelu sy'r tiwlips. Roedd yn nhefryd siwr o fod. Siwr. Felly, diolch am fawr. Deili nawr. Mae rhenwch eich stori am eich deili. Rhenwch eich ydy go wybodaeth am eich deili eich ffrindig yn gynnwys cliniau adas o chonynt. Er mwyn cherbi eraill i ddeall eich stori, ysgrifen wch trwy gwestiwn i bobl eraill eich adef am eich teulu. Byddwch yn barod i adef gwestiynau gan yr helwysur am eich teulu hefyd. Yn ar ran wch eich stori gydag eraill, gan defnyddio hashtag cada diawals. Eich chi, teleri, nhw'n eich eto? Mi'n di ran i stori, teleri? Halo, Adro. Rydw i a fy ngŵr yn byw yn Ottawa ers mis hydref llynedd. Rydym wedi mwynhau ein amser y man fawr hyd yn hyn. Daeth fy man chwaer a modryb i Ottawa ym mis mai am yn mweliad. Llwydd o ni i ymweld ag Ottawa, Toronto, Niagara a Ddinas Quebec tra roedd yn nhw yma. Mwyn heio mae pethefnos yn fawr iawn. Hoff daeth fy mam chwaer a modryb oedd Niagara, aethom ar y bws o Toronto. Yn y llun isod, aethom i barc o miga yn Quebec, lle bwydon a gwelsom nifer o anifeiliaid gwahanol sy'n ffrodrol i Ganada. Da iawn, Dylid, ydy o'ch am fawr. Felly, oes gadoch chi gwestiynau? Oes, pa mis daeth fy'n heili i Ottawa? Pa mis daeth fy'n heili i Ottawa? Na, ddim yr hydref, Michael. Na, ddim yr hydref, Michael. Mis mai, Christine, diolch am fawr. Na, ddim yr hydref. Na, mis mai, da iawn cwl, diolch am fawr. Beth yw'n neis da? Ble oedd hoff daeth fy'n heili? Ble oedd hoff daeth fy'n heili?
ni a gara da iawn. Da iawn Christine, da iawn Gold, da iawn Michael, da iawn. Gwestiwn nesa? Ie, yeah, gwestiwn o la. Am um, ha, oh sorry, am um, le oedd y llun isod? Am um, le oedd y llun isod? Ti rydw i'n gallu ati, ble mae'r llun? Gefig, da iawn. Ie, yeah, ydw i'n am i gyfad, da iawn cwl. <laughs> da iawn. Da iawn chi, diolch am fawr tyle i gwaith da. Da iawn. Da iawn, diolch am fawr. Felly, oedd eich chi'n coffi? Stori am e, am teulu tyle i chi ddi? Diolch cwl. Diolch Michael, diolch Christine, da iawn. Oedd e'n cyfryd. Wel, diolch am fawr iawn i bawb. E, am y sesiwn chi ddi. Hmm? A ma di wedi adai, mae yna bob incam ger amlaen. Mae llawer o digwyddiadau yn Gymraeg, felly mae hwn yn un bob incam ger amlaen, a byddwch chi'n gallu siarad Gymraeg yn dau iawn yn fian. Diolch i bawb. Ok, I think I might stop here. Uh, I want to first thank uh, Anna. Thank you so much, Anna, for leading that meeting. Thank you. Sorry, thank I was you. late. I couldn't. I couldn't find the the, um, the link to. Okay. No problem. No problem. And and this is a good example, actually. And I'm speaking to the facilitators. This is a good example of how we make do with what we have. So if we have participants that uh, cannot join for one reason or another, or if there's a technical problem, we ask other visitors, other participants to, if they would be willing to join the panel and we, um, and we uh, put them on the panel. And I should tell you, Christine and, well, Christine uh, knows how to do the technical facilitation. There's a, when you hover over the name of the people in the panel, you can promote them to a presenter or you can demote them from a presenter if you hover over their name on the right hand side um, and we can talk about that a little little bit i should also say that we really want to well we all learned something every single one of us learned something today about patagonia and that is that they speak welsh more quickly than they do in other parts of the world I can tell from just from the way it works, Anna, that in um, in uh, Patagonia, you you speak you speak Welsh, I think, quick more quickly than they do in other parts of the world. So Anna, <laughs> so we will, so we will, Anna, will need to slow down your Welsh just a little bit. No problem. Um, no problem. Yes, yes. yes. Just uh, take a little bit of a pause after uh, speaking, so that people can catch up because I think some people had a hard time catching up. I want to also, yeah. I'm, going, I'm going to change the slides to uh, this slide here. After, after a student shares the activity, uh, spend a little bit of time with them, at telling them thank you and you know, encouraging them. And this is an opportunity, and this is a message to all of the facilitators, this is an opportunity to try to engage them in a little bit of a conversation. So for example, Teleri had this wonderful story about Niagara Falls. You might talk to her in a conversation about Niagara Falls. So this is an opportunity for you to, if, if the language learner is um, experienced, especially Teleri did a great job, uh, she would be able to have a little conversation with you about Niagara Falls or about her activity. So this is a good, on these slides, the ones right after their activity, that's a great opportunity to just wait just a moment and ask Teleri to share a little bit more extemporaneously. Because one of the values of this particular program is that it's not programmed learning. 
the the conversation is extemporaneous. So people, and it's difficult for people to do, but this is the opportunity for you to help them through that. Okay? Right, yes. Mm. And, and I will, since we have the group with us, oh, and then I should also say at this point right here on this slide, uh, this is also a good opportunity, especially if there is time left over in our meetings. This is a good opportunity to ask people to share a little bit more about themselves, again, to give the participants a chance to answer questions for you, the facilitator. And so... Uh, this, this, it would be good to spend a little bit more time on this slide and then also really encourage people to thank each other and to thank the people who have volunteered. And one thing that we really need to do, uh, and it looks like I don't have a slide in here. I should have a slide in here at the end. Uh, we'll have a slide in here at the end asking people to volunteer to present because yes. after they mm -hmm. see the panel, Ask people who are watching, like Virginia, I'm hoping Virginia will volunteer to do it next time, um, is to, uh, is to give, give people an opportunity to volunteer. Because, as you know, it's very difficult to get people to volunteer. They're afraid. They're not sure that their language skills are good enough. And we need to give them the confidence to make the effort to go ahead and just share a simple word in a couple of sentences or share a, a song that they enjoy or to share a short story and give them the, the extra motivation to help them volunteer to, uh, to present. So this will be a very important part of the meeting. So at this point, I would like to just ask if there are any questions. I, uh, Larry, you did a great job before Anna came in. Do you have any questions about um, facilitating? Uh, well, the the only thing I I am wor worried about is how we will have the the things the participated uh, kids. I don't know. Okay. I don't know yes, how I, this works. Yes, I understand, Anna. And basically, your question is when a student submits an activity in the online course or submits an activity in Facebook or in some of the other social media sites, how does that activity get to the slides? And yes. it, it, yes, and it happens, we're a team. I'm on your team. I'm the sort of the technical person behind the scenes, but I will need your help too. So if you, uh, we, we at the beginning, and I, uh, excuse me all, I'm going to fast forward to the first slide at the beginning of the session. Uh, so it's going to be horrible for you to see the slide skip by to the beginning. But I want to show you the first slide uh, because this is how the activities will get into the slides is right here. This slide shows you who is responsible for which activity. And so if you have a student, uh, say Cole, for example, who has volunteered to read a story, we'll have Cole's contact information or a link to Cole in the online course. And what we do is we send her, she, she's volunteered to read a, an activity. We send her a note, an email note saying, do you need help? with your activity. Um, and if they can help you find the activity or they can send the activity to you as the facilitator, then you can take the activity and put it into the slides. And Anna, I, I realize that's technically a little bit difficult, so I'm going to help with that as well. So don't worry about that too much, but it, it is a team effort for us to put the activities into the slides. Right. Are there yes, other questions? I, I, yes, I didn't oh. know just how to how the, this work, uh, and when we will know we who will be in uh, uh, in each meeting. Yes. When so the yes. So the the volu the students 
yes. are asked to volunteer in the meetings, just like this one. Uh, and we will take a note if, if, for example, if Cole, uh, Cole, I'm going to ask you right now, Cole, go ahead and type into the chat window. What, what uh, activity would you like to do next week? Just type into the chat window which activity you would like to do next week. Okay, great. So then what we do is we communicate with Cole via email and we send Cole uh, information to help her uh, create the activity. And then she can either send the activity to us in email to you if, if you're a facilitator and you've, you've communicated with her or she could tell us that she posted it in the online course and then we can search for it in the online course and then uh, put it on the screen. So the, the volunteers will volunteer in the online course and they'll also volunteer in these meetings. Great. Okay, other questions from uh, Tag or Christine or Tellery? Um, Hi, I was just wondering. Oh. oh, sorry, Christine, go on. I just wanted to say that um, I think if anybody is happy to do an activity and they're not comfortable to read it, I think we could still include it and yes. somebody else could, could read it for them. So I just wanted to encourage perhaps Virginia, if she's not comfortable reading yet, but perhaps she could still put an activity together. Yes, yes, definitely. And, and we keep the activities, and this is for Virginia and Cole especially, is we keep the activities very simple. So if you are just starting out and you, uh, all, all, all you really need to do is uh, just try to do an activity. You don't have to make it perfect. It can be uh, just simply sharing a word and sharing a sentence with that word. And, and that's it. That's it's a very simple activity. All right. Thank you, Christine. That's an excellent uh, comment. Talari, do you have uh, any other comments? Yes, I think I'd like to um, give a go at being a secondary facilitator, sort of in the next couple of meetings. Could you just go over that role a bit more specifically, if that's okay? Yes, and we haven't really gotten to the point where the, the primary facilitator and the assistant facilitator have worked really well together. And uh, we've gotten close a couple of times. This particular meeting... I think Teg actually, he wrote to me, I, I, he wrote to me and he said, I can't keep up with Anna. She's, she's just, she speaks fast and I don't know if I can keep up with her in conversation. So Teg, Teg was, Teg was, uh, Teg was the assistant facilitator, but his Welsh is developing. He's trying to keep his Welsh up to date. And so he uh, he was having a little bit of difficulty, but I should tell you that the idea is the assistant facilitator would read the comments in the chat window, um, and the so for example, when people type into the chat window, when we have more people in the meeting, it's going to be very hard for the presenter the. Uh, yeah. The, the, yes. the host, it's going to be very hard for them to watch the chat window because the chat window is going to be moving through the whole meeting. And so the assistant facilitator can look at some of the comments and can share the comments with the group. And that's that's how the assistant facilitator can help. Also, the, the assistant facilitator helps uh, communicate with the uh, you can chat back and forth between the assistant facilitator and the facilitator just to say, you know, how is, how are you doing today? What's what kinds of things have you do you have planned for the week? You know, you can have little conversations with the assistant facilitator um, to help um, to help make it a um, a conversation like experience for people who are listening to the meeting. So I hope that helps. Talera, do you have other comments, questions? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. That was great. All right. And Cole, uh, it, it's wonderful. Yeah, and I, I love Cole's comments in here. 
um, it, 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 she's exactly right. It would be wonderful to have a native language conversation between the assistant facilitator and the facilitator. So feel free to do that as part of your uh, presentation. Um, and Cole, we'll get you on the calendar for next week. Uh, let us know a, a day when you think you might be able to present and we'll put you on the panel. Um, it's wonderful. Well, Anna, thank you very much. I, I want to say thanks to everyone at this point. Um, we are looking forward to next week and uh, we're looking forward to more people volunteering. We're going to do the best we can to make the meetings happen, even if people don't volunteer, because once people see the meetings happening on a regular basis, they'll start to volunteer. But uh, so it, it will have oftentimes we'll have people that will uh, facilitators that will have to read the activities um, in the meetings. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you on Monday. We'll, we'll see you on Monday.